This is Katherine Schmer at Chattanooga State Community College, and this is video two of vector valued functions. In this video, we talk about how to find the tangent line to a curve. So the tangent to the curve, for a curve defined by r of t equals f of t i plus g of t j plus h of t k, the tangent vector to the curve at point p, x naught, y naught, z naught, is r prime t. So in other words, the velocity vector is the tangent vector to the curve, v of t. The tangent line to the curve at point p is the line through p and parallel to r prime t. So recall that to find a line, we need a point and a direction vector. So for the point and direction vector, we can use the vector equations that we have. The point x naught, y naught, z naught is going to be r of t naught. So you just take whatever time you're given and plug it in to your position function. That'll give you a point on the curve. The direction vector, the vector v1, v2, v3, is v of t naught. So you take the time you're given, plug it into your velocity function, and that's your direction vector for the line. Remember the parametric equations for a line um, are x equals x naught plus v1 t, y equals y naught plus v2 t, and z equals z naught plus V3T. So that is how we would write our tangent line. All right, let's find parametric equations for the line that is tangent to the given curve at the given parameter value. R of T equals natural log of Ti plus quantity T minus 1 divided by quantity T minus 2 j plus t times natural log of t k at the point t naught equals 1. So recall we're looking for x equals x naught plus v1 t, y equals y naught plus v2 t, and z equals z naught plus v3 t, where the x naught, y naught, z naught come from r of t naught and the v1, v2, v3 come from the velocity, v of t naught. So let's start by just plugging in our t naught equals 1 into r. So r of 1 equals natural log of 1 times i plus 1 minus 1 over 1 minus 2 times j plus 1 times natural log of 1, k. So I plugged a 1 into my equation. So this equals 0i plus 0j plus 0k. Everything zeroes out because the natural log of 1 is 0, and 1 minus 1 is 0. So that's my x naught, y naught, and z naught um, for the equation, 0, 0, 0. Next, we want to find the velocity, and we know that v of t equals r prime t, so we take the derivative of each component individually, so I've rewritten that here on this slide. So first we want to do the derivative of natural log of t and that is 1 over t. So that's going to be my i component of um, v of t. v of t equals 1 over t i. Now I need the derivative of t minus 1 over quantity t minus 2. We need to use the quotient rule. So recall the quotient rule if you have d over dt of f over g that is f prime g minus g prime f over g squared. 
So some, um, some people remember it as low D high minus high D low over low low. So over the denominator squared. So that gives us the denominator is t minus 2, derivative of the top is 1, so we have t minus 2 times 1, minus the derivative of the bottom is 1, times the top, t minus 1, all divided by the quantity t minus 2 squared. So there's my j component, and we'll simplify it in the next step. Now my k component, I need the derivative of t times natural log of t, which is a product. So I'll need the product rule. So recall that the derivative of u times v is equal to u prime v plus u v prime. So since you're adding, the order that you do this doesn't matter as much as in the quotient rule, because in the quotient rule you're subtracting. Okay, so my u in this case will be the t, and my v will be the natural log of t. So I'll have 1 natural log of t plus t times 1 over t. There's my k component. Now let's simplify a little bit. So I have 1 over t i, and the j term is going to simplify to negative 1 over the quantity t minus 2 quantity squared j plus natural log of t plus 1 times k. There's my velocity, and I want the um, velocity at the point t naught equals 1. So now we plug in t naught equals 1 to find our direction vector. v of 1 equals 1i plus negative 1j plus 1k, just plugging in a 1 everywhere there's a t. And so vector v1, v2, v3 for my formula is 1, negative 1, 1. Now I put it all together into the um, parametric equations for a line. So the tangent line at t equals 1 is x equals 0 plus 1t, y equals 0 minus 1t, z equals 0 plus 1t. And the 0, 0, 0 came from r of t naught, the 1, negative 1, 1, all attached to t's, came from the velocity at t naught. And this simplifies to x equals t, y equals negative t, z equals t. So that's how you'll always go about finding the tangent line to a curve, is find the um, position at that point and find the velocity at that point. The position is your, um, gives you the point on the curve that your tangent line goes through, and the velocity at that t value gives you the direction vector.